I'm an hour outside of Winnipeg, and it isn't getting any warmer. Temperatures around here are easily negative 20 degrees, and that doesn't account for the winds that whip across the plains. It's a cold and unforgiving place to do much of anything, particularly milking cows at 4.30 in the morning. Fortunately, at this dairy farm, you don't have to. This is Weldon Plett and his family. The Pletts have been milking cows here for four generations. In July of last year, Weldon did something radical. He replaced his old manual dairy farm equipment with a system that is completely automated. How many cows are in here? We've got about 250, 60, 260 about in here now. Then you can see our, uh, our vector, the, the robotic oh, feeder. Oh, look at that guy. Hi. He works on his own 24-7. His job is to keep the cows fed. When he goes along, he pushes up feed so the cows can reach it. And so this could, this could be happening at 3 in the morning? Yeah. And well, the cows know when it comes. Oh, yeah, they get excited. Yeah. This feeding robot is called the Vector. It scans the barn every 45 minutes. If the feed level is low anywhere, the Vector will automatically go to what's called the feed kitchen. There. It gets restocked with a blend of grains, barley, and supplements by a giant claw. That's the crane that loads all the ingredients, like all the forages. We bring blocks of corn silage, blocks of hillage, and barley silage. And as you can see, it tells it what to load. It picks up, and then it dumps it in here. There's a scale on here, so it knows exactly how much it's got and exactly how much it needs to put in here. Now, it just dropped a load here. Yeah, it what wants to get a better grab. I got to ask, is there some sort of, like, safety protocol on there? The safety protocol, actually, we broke when we came in here. <laughs> <laughs> so it just don't come in here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's good forage. All this automation looks awesome, but Weldon didn't buy a bunch of robots because they would look cool. Dairy farms are facing real problems, and the company behind all this equipment, a Dutch firm called Lely, thinks automation is the answer. We feel very strongly that the technology that we produce here today uh, is rapidly changing and revolutionizing the dairy industry as a whole. For our dairy producers, if you ask them, probably one of the biggest things they see as a potential risk is just the availability of that labor to harvest milk and to run their dairies efficiently. 80% of the labor that's available on dairy farms today is immigrant labor. If you look at the availability just in quantity of that labor pool, there is not enough labor available in the traditional markets uh, to support the dairy industries. Again, it speaks to why we're seeing a large trend uh, and a growing trend towards automation uh, and robotic technology. We have four people less on payroll, and I would say the four that are here now have a sane day instead of an insane day. Weldon doesn't make any money by just feeding his cows. He has to milk them as well, which brings us to the second part of the Lely system, the astronaut. A new cow's coming in here. What's going to happen here? Yeah, so as the cow comes in, uh, there's actually an ID collar on her. It'll register and say, okay, this is uh, cow number two, right. and she's due to get milked. What it's actually doing right now is it cleans your teats with yep. the brushes. Okay. Um, and then after that's done, it'll actually attach the, the milking unit on. Around 120 pieces of data are collected every time a cow is milked. The system uses all that data to make adjustments on the fly. For example, it can adjust the components of the feed to address certain health issues. Weldon can use the data to make sure his cows are producing as much milk for him as possible. Did you increase the amount of cows that you had? We actually didn't increase the amount of cows, Yes. but our production has really increased. We're producing way more milk. With fewer people. Yeah, the efficiency is just way better. Yeah. Like, it's not even close. Automation replaces jobs, but in an industry where labor is in short supply, automation may turn out to be the thing that helps save the family farm. But right now, Weldon's not really thinking about the bigger picture. 
He's just happy to have some time to relax. 